she is full speed flooring it toward me. So I'm looking like, oh, that's what we thought it was, right? <laughs> channel today i'm gonna be doing another story time if you are new here what took you so long sis and if not welcome back as y'all can see by the title of this video y'all see what i'm talking about today i'm gonna be doing another story time this is by the time that my workplace technically my workplace got robbed and i'm gonna change the name of the person i'm talking about in this story i don't want to put her real name out there but just know me and her are cool like that's my sis right there and i just want to change her name because i don't know if she wanted for her name out there or what so yeah, let's get right into the video. So just a little backstory about um, the place I was working at. I was working at a job, a retail store inside the mall um, near my apartment and near my school. Um, and me, and I'm gonna give her the name, Lonnie, I like that name. I'm gonna give her, my coworker, the name Lonnie. So me and Lonnie, <laughs> um, we had just got promoted to, uh, managers basically we were um opening and closing the stores by ourselves like i'm talking about this is an everyday thing we were opening and closing the store by ourselves so this one particular day and i think this was god this was a, this was nothing but god honestly um this one particular day we were opening the store and closing the store together so <laughs> we came into work and we found out that the mall was doing construction at the store above us. I think it was Bath and Body Works. They were doing construction at the store above us. And somehow, some way, a construction worker ended up busting a pipe upstairs. And that pipe caused multiple stores below us, below them to flood. And one of those stores happened to be the store that I was working at. Obviously, we had to close the store down because, um, it would be a safety hazard to have customers in there with that amount of water in our store. It could cause one of them to fall and all that other stuff that we did. We wanted to try to avoid, so we had to close the store down. We got in touch with our manager, our store manager, and basically telling her what was going on. She told us, okay, close the store down, but y'all gotta stay, y'all gotta stay at the store because people have to come in and out to start cleaning out the water. Cause it's, it's like, y'all can't really do anything about it. So we like, okay. So people start coming in and out. It's like, I wanna say it's like a, a mix of like four or five people coming in and out to clean the store. Are y'all keeping up with me? Okay, make, make sure I make sense. Um, but yeah, so the customer, we put a sign on the door basically saying, you know, the store's closed for as of right now because of flooding, please try again later, all the other good stuff. But somehow people just couldn't read. So we had to end up closing all the doors at the front of the store except for one because we needed the construction workers to be able to come in and out without us having to go open the door all the time for them to come in and clean up but obviously people still still kept trying to come in so i was talking to lonnie who was like yeah we should probably just close all the doors and we're gonna have to just open the door for the people to come in to clean out the store like we just have to do that because it was way it was way more customers trying to come in compared to workers so it was like we just gonna have to deal with it i really think this is about the grace of god Lonnie went to go close the door and close it and lock it. I don't know if she closed it and locked it before all of the stuff started happening or afterwards, but I just know as soon as she got the door locked, all I saw was her doing the dash toward me. While she was walking towards the door and while she was locking it, some sound started going off. I'm looking like, was that just, was that a gunshot? Like. <laughs> What was that? I'm looking over to look at her to ask her what that was. Lonnie's doing the dash toward me. Like she is full speed flooring it toward me. So I'm looking like, oh, that's what we thought it was, right? <laughs> so we weren't even thinking, like we were just in the moment. So we ran toward the back to barricade ourselves in the back room because at this point we're thinking it's like a mass shooting or something. Cause mind you, we in a mall. So people do stuff like that. So I'm looking at her and mind you, she didn't grab all her stuff. Baby, I don't care about my, I don't care about my purse, my keys, none of that. All I had was my phone on me. She had grabbed all her stuff and we had locked ourselves in the back room. So I'm trying not to freak out at this point. Like 
I'm trying to do my breathing techniques. I'm really trying to hold myself together. But inside, I'm thinking like, oh, it's over with. Like, it's over. It's done for. Like, tell my mom and my daddy I love them. Like, it's <laughs> over with. So, um, Lani gets on the phone. And she at first calls our manager. She like whispering, oh, they miss blah, blah, blah. They shooting in the mall. They shooting in the mall. She's like, what? What? And like, she's trying to tell her what happened. Mind you, I'm I'm in the corner. I'm ducked behind some boxes because ain't nobody finna get me. I'm not going out like that. In the room that we're in, we can see the store. We can see what's happening in the store. So mind you, there's nobody in the store. We can see every everything that's out there. So I'm like, okay, if anybody tries to come through the front, we can see them. But it's a back door that leads to the outside of the mall, closer to where we were at. So that would be our greatest escape if we try to do it. They got shot of there. So <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is not funny, but I'm trying to remember everything because it all happened so fast. And this was actually really traumatizing for me. So she's on the phone going back and forth trying to figure out what we need to do. She calls the other manager and the, and the other manager was basically telling her we need to get out the room. Because mind you, I'm telling you at this point, we thinking it's, this is a mass shooting. We need to get out of here. So I'm like... I'm not going out there. Like, I'm not going out there. I'm sorry. Like, I will be the one. I open the door and this man is standing in front of me. Like, no, I'm not going out there. She's still on the phone going back and forth uh, with our manager trying to figure out what we need to do. I'm new in the corner. I'm rocking back and forth. I'm praying. I'm on my knees like, Lord, please forgive me. I'm like, please get us out, please get us out of this situation. Like, I'm, I'm just all over the place at this point somebody starts banging on the door that we're in i'm talking about like banging they not saying nothing oh y'all my heart sank bro my heart sank because that means that somebody that came from the back the back way like they didn't come from the front of the store because we would have seen them on the cameras they even came from the back way so i'm like oh my god they didn't found us they know that we in here like i'm freaking out at this point and so the girl on the phone talking to um Lonnie, she like, oh, you gotta open the door. Open the door? Girl, is somebody beating up? We can't even see who this is beating on side outside of this door. I'm not finna open this door. And I'm telling Lonnie, like, oh, I can't be loud because I don't know who outside. I'm like, no, don't open the door. No, <laughs> no don't open the door. Like, no, no. The banging has stopped. So we were sitting there, we was just quiet. And we heard a walkie-talkie go off. Like, it sounded like somebody was talking over a walkie-talkie and they were saying something. I don't know, I don't even remember what they were saying, but it wasn't nothing like bad. So she's like, like looking at Malin and me, like it might be, like it might be somebody that worked at the mall, basically trying to get us out of here. But I'm still like, no, like, I'm not going outside. They gonna have to come in and get me out this bitch. Like, I'm not going, I'm not going outside. No, no, <laughs> no. So, I don't know what kind of courage Lonnie got, but she had the courage to get up and open that door. And when we seen it, uh, it was one of like the uh, the workers of the mall, like, like, baby, <laughs> I ran. He was like, no, you gotta stay with me. You gotta stay with me. Like, cause we were trying to get, we were trying to get out the um, exit. But I know why he was trying to tell me I need to stay with him so we can get like protection. But I wasn't trying to hear all that at the moment. I was trying to get out. And so, I'm running, I'm running, <laughs> I'm running out the door, and mind you, I got this long, like, jean jacket on, and then Lonnie, like, oh, you got, we, mind you, we work in a clothing store, so I guess when I was running out the front, um, <laughs> when I was running to get in the room at first, I had, some, something had snagged on my, um, my jacket, and a, I think, like, a pair of panties got stuck to my jacket, and mind you, I didn't notice it this whole time, because I'm in the back panicking, so when the man finally came and got us out there, I'm running out the back, at, out the exit, she like, girl, you got um some panties stuck on your jacket. I'm like, girl, them panties. Like, they're going to have to come get me for They're going to have to come lock me up over these panties because I'm not going back in that store to put them panties back. I refuse. I'm not going back. <laughs> I'm not going back. They're going to have to come get me for these pair of panties, okay? So, we finally get outside. And mind you, I didn't call my mom or my boyfriend or my dad or nobody yet because I really didn't want to freak them out when I didn't know what was going on. So we finally get outside. That's when I can finally start doing my crying because I couldn't be loud in the back. <laughs> so I'm crying. I'm like, I'm on the phone with my mom. Like, mom, do y'all get the gist? I'm calling my mama crying every second, every single video. But I'm like, mom, they, they was shooting in the mall. They shooting in the mall. She was like, 
what tell me what's going on i'm like this is why i didn't want to call because i don't know what's going on mind y'all the mall is surrounded by police officers already i'm talking about they carrying guns like the big boys they carrying guns we see choppers in the air i'm like oh what is going on mind y'all my keys my purse everything is still inside the store so i really couldn't go nowhere so after i got the phone my mama i finally convinced her to hang up so i could figure out what was going on i called my boyfriend so he can come get me because i didn't have no ride while i'm on the phone trying to get my rides together <laughs> um a police officer gonna walk up to me he gonna say uh did you see where the shooter went no did you see where the shooter went like you need to be trying to look for him don't be asking me i don't sir i don't know you do see i'm freaking i got tears in my eyes i don't know where the shooter went sir go find him now like go find this man go he had me in the back crying go find this man so um he walked away and so I guess Marnie was back on the phone with my manager. She was like, um, yeah, we made it out. Da, 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 da. Why the first thing um my man the store manager asked Lonnie was, Oh, so y'all left the store unsecure? That's what you worry about? The store being unsecure? I'm unsecure, okay? Baby, I just almost lost my life. Uh, I'm not secure right now. You worry about the store? Oh, baby, that put the ice on the cake. Like two weeks later, <laughs> me and Lonnie like just ended up, didn't work there no more. I don't know what happened after that, but yeah, that really put the ice on the cake. And because they like they didn't care about what was going on with us, they was caring about was the store not secure. I'm just thinking in my head like the whole mall is getting evacuated. Nobody's in there trying to steal a pair of uh, panties but me I guess I had, like, <laughs> I had a pair of panties stuck to my um jacket but you know I wasn't trying to steal it like that but yeah like they was only worried about if the store was um secure or not and um how we just left the door unlocked in the bag and that's really all that happened um I don't think they oh so when we finally get outside and um both of I think me and Lonnie had already gotten our boyfriend's car by then I think her boyfriend came to get her too even though her car even though she had the keys to her car she still wanted somebody there with her because we we was just in a traumatic situation. Like we still um sitting there and basically we found out that a, a jewelry store had got robbed like two doors down from us and they were shooting. I don't know if anybody got hurt. I really don't know and I don't want to put out false information. I don't know if they they just let off some warning shots or, or if anybody got hurt, but I think I'm pretty sure it was just a robbery um that happened, but yeah, I really, when I go to this mall now, I be in and out. Ain't no, ain't no uh, browsing around. I'm going in and out. I'm getting what I need. I need to go because <laughs> ain't nothing finna happen to me. Not like that. I refuse. But, um, yeah, that was just a quick little story time. I thought it was, it wasn't funny, but you know how I can be dramatic sometimes, but, uh, <laughs> I could be dramatic sometimes and I thought some people might want to hear it. So if you didn't like it, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you didn't, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys are like, comments, and sharing, and subscribing to my channel. And um, make sure you guys are commenting below what kind of videos, what kind of videos y'all want to see from me next because I do a lot of polls on my Instagram. And I, I actually look at the comments to see what y'all want to see. So if you're not telling me anything, how can I give you anything? What that girl mama said, um, closed mouths don't get fed. Mm, let that marinate on your brain. And while it's marinating, um, watch some more of my videos. Enough of that. I'll see y'all in the next video.